What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will at What's Up in the Sky 37 or you can catch us at What's Up in the Sky .com. Just put a couple www's on the front of that and uh, open up your browser or you can click in my link below and what you see on your screen now is a uh, NASA picture here and we're going way back. We're going to the math to the math to the Mars Pathfinder mission. This was taken I think in 1999 and this is the fabled uh, famous Sphinx on Mars. So this is the Sphinx on Mars. They actually had this as a, it's a panorama shot. It, you can see in the background it's, it says here how big that that twin peak in the background is. It is over 600 or 860 meters so about 2800 feet tall. Um, I'd say we're probably it's hard to tell the difference here and you know how far that actually is away but I'd say at least a good couple miles from the picture from where the rover was and this was one of the first rovers we sent up there so this is pretty neat and uh, okay so what we're gonna go ahead and do now is minimize this and I you can see I've already brought it up um, this consists I think of 76 pictures that they spliced together with the uh, with the with the actual rovers but if you look here this is where we're going to be going for the anomaly and there are other anomalies in the picture I will show you some of them briefly but let's go ahead and start zooming on in I'm not sure why there we are there we go my trackpad's been still acting weird so right there let me get it nice and big for you this is what they call the Sphinx on Mars and now let me go ahead and let me pull up my tools let's see if I can adjust that just a tad maybe give us a little bit more sharpness it's such far away oh, a little bit sharpen up a little bit let's see if I can adjust the exposure a little mm -hmm. bring it back down okay so let's bring it back out a little bit you can check it out you can see it's right before the peak so if you're thinking this is 2800 feet and you've got this this structure right here this is not a small structure this is pretty big and it looks to me as if it actually has lines in it there now you can see the picture itself has lines but they're not the same size as that uh, they're just part embedded into the actual JPEG file itself even though this is a TIFF it most likely came down off the rover in a, in a raw format and was uh, taken by the by this whoever whatever school did this and did it so if you check it out this uh, there it is so the Sphinx and let's just take a look at the other part of the photo so you can uh, take a look at it there's a lot of interesting stuff here you've got a lot of right angles check this out right here this looks like a platform um, this rock looks like it was actually hollowed out um, maybe not of course this all could be nothing but here you've got another rock here that's got a uh, looks like to be carved this here almost looks to be like these rocks have been placed see how they've got uh they go up and down kind of like some sort of dial like a sundial if you check over here you see the straight patterns as in this rock see this this hill right here you, a lot of that you can see like this this right here and then there's a circle in the middle see the pattern here that's a 90 degrees it can continues on here with the slope of the land see how the land slopes out and that comes all the way to the edge so you've got a platform here and it drops down and it drops down another and check this out it comes around it drops down a step drops down a step drops down a step drops down a step there's another building there's another something here see how it's squared in nature there's a rock right there that's sitting on it and uh, let's go over here a little bit take a look at some of this well, this is interesting these rocks just right here these marks on these rocks this almost looks like a, a snake or something on the rock or this was obviously put there by something oh I also forgot this rock here almost this looks like it was just straight cut off of that also this one right here if you check the face of it, it looks like there's a smiley face on it or a skull actually see that there you go there's a lot in this photograph so go ahead and download it I don't want to keep this too long um, there's another structure out here that's interesting see how that doesn't look like a rock that looks like it's something there this almost looks like it's something that came off of uh, right here here's another rock that's got that's almost a perfect triangle with rounded sides 
It's very interesting. Here you got another rock. This almost looks like a gate. Let's see how that's right there. Oh, looky here. We got some interesting stuff here. Looks like you've got platforms that go from one to the next that you could walk down. Here you know. This is interesting here how this this must have been when this was taken this picture. Oh, look at this here too. These platforms. This is uh, definitely looks like a walkway. Look at that. You can walk here on up on through here. There's circles here. This is very interesting stuff. This looks like it's another spear. Here's another one of those circles, another circle. And this is interesting. It's got two ways. This is actually a double bridge like you'd see on one of our highway systems bringing you over to this side which uh, brings you up into this area and once again that peak just to give you a little perspective is 2800 feet so this right here the Sphinx is huge grab this picture you can get it on the link below check it out and uh, check out our website at whatsupinthesky.com I just put it up if you're a researcher I'd be really interested in seeing uh, to put up some of your if you have some good videos I want to put them up so I want to get everything in one place so people can go check it out uh, just still get your AdSense money it'll just be embedded on the site and see if there's anything else I see you know I like doing this with the temperature and seeing if I can get it to look like the uh, the blue on earth it's amazing if you can when you get the actual when you get to look blue how the rocks change the color of the rocks change dramatically there we are there we are looks like it could almost be out in uh, Arizona huh see I think that they all have been changed just a little bit I think these rovers have it built into it to add a little bit of uh, red hue to it which wouldn't be that hard because they sold us on it being the red planet uh, when you do that a lot more stuff comes into view so you saw how I did this I'm just using a Mac all I did was change the temperature a little bit change the uh, saturation and brought up the tint so do that with all your Mars photos and check it out alright take it easy guys much love peace Sorry it ran long.